Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a used 2024 Hummer. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but you guys can see how the rear wheels are kind of crooked, right? We're using that rear steering. I'm gonna show you guys how to use that system. And we're gonna drive this today too. I've done a separate video, so I'll do a quick walk around. Frank is actually one of the salespeople here. This is available. And Frank, how much? 50 grand, right? You said 50,000? 50, <laughs> 50 grand, baby! Whoa! What's your number, bro? 801-750-8441. Awesome. It's available, guys. It's available. It's available, available? Okay. Available, available. And one thing I will tell you, guys, so not having an engine, it heated up so quickly in this interior. And you don't have to heat up the engine like you do with the it's internal no, combustion. No, no, it's nothing. Nothing. It's just, you just get in and you go. You just got to worry about that two-hour charge time, though. Right? That's it. Well, they can do, it's a 200, so it's a 310 mile range. Mm-hmm. And you do 80% of charge in 10 minutes. Really? Well, I know it has like the max is like 381 is the mileage for it. Yeah. So that's not bad for, you know, a hybrid or a, excuse me, an electric vehicle. I will yeah, say. It's almost a 10,000 pound vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. If you want your wife to be safe, get, get her a home. Hummer. Get a Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit that is pretty cool. You have that rear steering. Turn it the other way real quickly. Yo. If you go on the trails, that's what that's for. Like a trail turn assist almost. So real quickly, how do you put it in crab walk? So it's pretty easy. Only thing you have to do. Hold it. Oh, it makes you hold it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And it loads. It loads. Yes. And you're gonna see the crab right here. Okay. So it shows you a crab icon right there? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's check it out, guys. Crab walk, guys. Crab walk. That is so cool. That is so cool. It almost looks broken, right? <laughs> that is crazy. All right, guys, so we're gonna drive the Hummer EV. And the first thing we're gonna do is 0 60. So this obviously has electric motors front and rear 381 miles i'm not sure how big the battery pack is on this one which is big <laughs> big short layers of okay battery pack. okay let's go ahead and see what the zero to 60 is and then we'll get on the road i'm going to show you guys the super cruise oh my goodness it's peppy though whoa i wasn't expecting that actually yeah just like be careful when it's zero to 60. 10 000 pounds <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so this was in normal mode. This one does not have watts of freedom. No watts of freedom. So yeah, so 6.21 seconds is still good. And when you're on the highway cruising, you almost forget how big this thing is. But you do sit high, I like that. And I feel as though it does have a straight up windshield, which I prefer actually. Three wiper blades. Yeah, three wiper blades, yeah, that is pretty nice. And I like the, the layout. I like the screen that they have for your gauge cluster. And you have a large screen here too. And as I said earlier, everything heats up pretty quickly. You have heat and ventilated seats in this one too. But the seats are comfortable. And something that GM, GM always has a little bit stiffer seats, but I do like how these feel too. They, they have nice support on your back, especially like the bolstering right here too. But let's go ahead and check out the Super Cruise. Super Cruise. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put my seat back a little bit so I can show it. Now really quickly, I'm six foot one and I can barely reach the pedals. <laughs> barely. How far? I mean, there's still, there's still some seats, space back there. 
So let's go ahead and do the Super Cruise. So I'm gonna put it on cruise control. And then this is the adaptive. I'm gonna go up to 80 miles an hour. And then I'm gonna hit this button right here. And when you see that green dial right there, that's how you know it's done. So now it's taking control of the steering, the throttle. And one thing I like about GM Super Cruise is it will change lanes. That's why I want to go 80 miles an hour so it can show you which lane to be. You see this, it's turn, changing lanes for you. So it knows, okay, these cars are going a little too slow. And it might do it again. Let's see. Changing lanes again. Now it's accelerating. Check that out. This is amazing. No one has what GM has right now. This is the best system that I've used. And uh, they still keep uh, changing lanes even if you have a trailer. If you have a trailer, so even if you're towing, so Frank said, even if you're towing a trailer, it'll still change lanes for you. I mean, this just takes all the fatigue out of driving. So if you're on the highway for two hours, you, all you have to do is keep your hands in your lap and just keep your, your head forward because there is a sensor. It will, it'll let you know if, hey, we know you're not paying attention, so we're gonna disengage this system for you. But 80 miles an hour around a curve is changing lanes for me. Like, come on. <laughs> this is insane. And I don't feel scared either, because I did do a Ford Lightning one time. I was terrified. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice thing to have. Yeah, it is. Now, if I put the camera in front of my face, you're probably gonna see that um, green line start to twitch a little bit. See right there? So it's, it's saying, oh, you're not paying attention and it will lock it out too so you don't want that to happen too much so you really want to keep your eyes forward you don't want to fall asleep and yeah this is a really good system it's it's not like wobbling it's very very secure feeling and it keeps you in the center of the lane too i have a lexus lx600 my wife drives and it has lane centering or lane tracing and it's not that good either like this is the best system so far i haven't used uh, Tesla's best one, but I've used like their self-driving where you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. This one you don't have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. So that's why it's a little bit better. And I feel safe in here too. This heavy SUV. Oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh yeah, see, when you, look, we can play, we can play patty cake here. <laughs> Like the only thing I think missing on this mm -hmm. for be like a fully um, relaxing uh -huh. is the massaging seats. Oh, okay, massaging seats. No, I agree. See, we have, I have an AT Pro and has Nolly Ultimate. We have that function. It is nice to have. I'm surprised they didn't do that on this one. That is yeah. shocking. Huh. Yeah, you can definitely hear the wind noise, but it's it's not bad though. Like if you're driving a Wrangler, it's worse. Actually, let's just go ahead and kind of get an idea of the sound in here. So 68. So that's probably about four decibels louder than like another like comparable SUV. By the window. Oh, it's ch it changed lanes for me. By the window is like 71. So about two to three decibels louder. About 64 out back, so about two decibels louder than a normal SUV. But it's not bad though. Like I've driven soft tops before, and yeah, this is this is really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the self-driving. We're gonna go ahead and turn around. But yeah, this system is really nice. Now they do have like a regenerative braking button right here that you can use to kind of like apply the brakes. Now I do like that it gives you. It's like a paddle shifter almost. But yeah, this is definitely, oh yeah, it's still actually kind of steering me too right now too, like, so it has lane keep assist, mm -hmm. which is typical when you have self-driving like this. A little bit of storage up there. So those is, uh, the covers. Oh, nice. Do they go in here? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So here's where you storage on the, the top. Uh-huh. And it's where you cover the glass. That's nice. So it's going to storage. Okay. 
when you can pile up all those four for you. Nice. Yeah, these are probably your headlights down here. Big old skid plate down below. Independent front and rear suspension. Let's go ahead and check out the back too. Check out those mirrors. Blast spot monitoring and they're both heated. This is where you're gonna charge up at too. And this has a ton of space in the rear. It is a little tall. Give you some recovery hooks. Some of your towing features right there. With a class four hitch. And those rear seats do recline too. Are they open? Nice. There it is. And this is where you're super or fast charging right there. We can drop those seats from back here, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, you're charging gear. It's for the house. Oh, yeah. Is the tailgate, is the tailgate also? Is the tailgate power too? Right there. You know what I like about the Hummer? Whenever I see a test, I'm like, move out of my way. <laughs> I'll run you over. I actually just saw a test, that's why I said that. This makes no sense. Like, that's what I love about the Hummer. Like, back in the day, the Hummer got so much hate because it got bad fuel economy. Although all SUVs got about the same. Yeah, that no, was how they created the economy. Right, it was just impractical for most people, right? But this one, being an all electric, I mean, it is kind of saving the environment, right? Yeah. And it rides good. These tires, I mean, these are 22 inch wheels and it has 305 tires. So it, there's not a lot of road noise. They're pretty aggressive, but they're not loud by any means. And as you guys saw the noise, I mean, you're just hearing a little bit of wind noise because this roof is so thin but apart from that I mean this thing rides really nice and it handles like when you like make a brunt change like it's it's stable like I just tried to like yeah it's yeah it has air suspension so it's gonna you know really perform adaptive, well yeah. yeah it's gonna be adaptive and I don't feel like it's clumsy like most SUVs that don't have this type of setup does and it has a shorter wheelbase too so it is a little bit more nimble too not even feel the bumps on it Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's crazy when you ride. Oh yeah, it does eat up those bumps too. And I'm getting 1.1 miles a kilowatt hour too. So that's not bad. Actually, that might be a little bit. <laughs> it might be a little bit. <laughs> but we did do the 0 to 60. It was actually almost 0 to 80. But yeah, this is definitely a nice contender. If you can afford the $100,000 SUV, I would put this on my list. Especially if you don't drive that far. I mean, this thing feels... Like it owns the road. That's how it feels when I'm driving this. And you have all the nice features. It has heated and ventilated seats, dual climate controls, things you would expect, navigation, it has split screen, and yeah, it has a wireless charger for your phone down there. All kinds of nice features. We drove about 20 miles and got 1.2 miles a kilowatt hour, just as an FYI. To answer the question, can I sit behind myself with the seat all the way back? So if Shaq was driving this, Let's see. I can sit behind myself. Now, I could barely reach the pedals with the seat all the way back like this, and I can still sit behind myself. They do provide some USBs. You have a Type-C to the left, Type-A. You have some controls for your climate and heated seats in the rear. But yeah, you have these removable glass tops too. This would be a nice thing to have on the beach for sure. Bro, thank you so much for this. Yeah, always. How much is this one online? 104. 104, okay. And they're about $110,000? 111 MSRP. Okay, $111,000 MSRP. Now, if somebody wants to contact you and purchase this, what do they got to do? Just call me. 801-750-8441. All right. This is a nice setup. It literally has no damage on it, too, guys. This only has 1,930 miles on it. So be sure to reach out to Jerry Sinder here in South Jordan, Utah. Ask for Frank. Come and see me. See you guys soon.